Number 32 now, and here's another name which has been associated with Netley Marsh right back through the years, and that's the Hearst family. And this is the boat and steam wagon to Manchester, and this is owned by uh, the Hearst family of Andover, used by thousands of Amersham for hauling and winching trees, timbering drives the wind to separate steam engineers. I'm new to Urban District Council and uh, commenced its working line. And if you notice on top of the chimney of this particular roller, you've got, uh, you've got a little wire cage, looks as if it's come out of a chip pan. Well it hasn't, but it's not there to stop the birds nesting in the chimney either, it's the spark of that And uh, it's quite a simple device, because sometimes you get on large hot lumps coming out the tops of these chimneys when they're particularly when they're working hard going up a steep hill to a pretty little flat village and it's uh, not unknown for these sparks to cause a certain amount of damage so a spark arrestor was fitted on the top of the chimneys which just stops the, the larger pieces flying out and causing a, a roadside fire Weekend for weather up here. Yeah, it's cracking, isn't it? Yeah. Now, another Wallace and Stevens tractor, the Royal yeah. Bath tractor, yeah. built in 1920. Yeah, Have the registration you see. Yeah, a bit of rain. Yeah. Pretty little brown tractor yeah. there. Yeah, it's yeah. dangerous, yeah. is it? Ah, still going around. Pretty old. Sold you to David Olsen of Wellington in Sussex. And, uh. Those old ones, really. And then uh, the Coles family of Chichester again had this uh, locomotive and sold it to preservation in the 1950s and it's now owned by the Webb family again. So we're very working engines here this weekend as well as our regulars, something a little bit special as well for us to see and enjoy. Pull their own equipment along behind them. But uh, yeah, this is the Wallace and Stevens advanced roller. Rolls all of them designed for the tarmac rolling. All the rollers were geared over the going round the arena. Have been specifically designed for stone trucking. Only the roller that we have there leading this heavy haulage train is in fact one of the Stevens designed in advance. It came out in the line being expected to be embraced in testing for a very long time. And right on the back end there, you might wonder what all that rust well, stuff is. is. Well, underneath the very watchful eye of Danny Dover, who's out here in the centre of the arena at the moment, and um, he's responsible for all this scrap out of the bed laying down the arena. And there's there is a future restoration project there. It's not a steam powered drag line. They, they were such animals, but that one's a diesel powered tree. And now, something a little bit more in keeping, really, with the with the type of engine that you'd expect to see, with the type of load behind the sort of engine you'd expect. A little older now, coming up towards the commentary point. A little older was here 40 years ago as well. He's on a certain tree in your program, uh, owned by the Hearst family. Uh, used around the Alton area for most of her working life and spent most of the time in the 1920s Well, a little bit of history there, we've had it updated by the man who knows and uh, the, li the, living, the living band that you see on the back, the roller band that you see on the back of Little Olga Wonderful piece of history there. Oh, you're singing in the middle of it. Oh, 
just before you did. Yeah. <coughs> we went and come out here one year, he wanted to come out there. So me and Randy, it was when the entrance was over that side. Yeah. Randy went and got us up there.